Hello, Cancer, Cancer Rising people, and Cancer Moon people. This is your weekly astrological and card horoscope for the week starting May 15th, 2017. And a quick reminder for you guys, my schedule has changed due to uh, overwhelming request. I have gone back to a Monday through Friday work schedule. Um, I used to do Sunday through Thursday, but a lot of folks were asking for a Friday availability instead, so we will try this out for a while. If you ever want to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website, integrativemysticism.com. There's a self-schedule application program on there, or you can order a downloadable video file. So what is going on with your astrology this week? Well, this week is going to be very calm for the first half. In fact, we've got some good energies going on, some good shifts happening, especially at the end of the week, and that's where we're going to start. On Thursday, we've got the Sun in Taurus in your 11th house of friendships and social networking, forming a gorgeous connection to Chiron, the wounded healer, in your ninth house of higher education, your spiritual life, travel, government legal proceedings, as well as any kind of broadcasting, anything that you have going on where you are putting yourself out there. And when we have the Sun in the 11th forming a sex house of this area, um, a friend or an ally could be showing up to sort of swing the odds in your favor in any kind of big debate, or debacle that you have been battling when it comes to overcoming an obstacle in one of these areas. If you need that reference, if you need a, a testimony, if you need a witness, if you need somebody to go and back you up, or just simply just, you know, win through strength and numbers in this area, you have it. So enjoy it. You know, if you need somebody to kind of bridge that gap or make it happen, somebody is going to go and pull those strings, and it is going to work out for you. On Friday, we've got Saturn, currently retrograde in Sagittarius, your sixth house of work, reputation, and your physical health, forming a lovely trine to Uranus in your tenth house of career. And when we have Saturn retrograde and Uranus come together in a good way uh, from, this, you know, from these areas, we tend to see some kind of big breakthrough in the, work, in the workforce or in the work area that is putting you in the ideal environment or in the ideal space that is going to be giving you an opportunity to drum up extra money much more quickly. This could be a lateral move that shows up as an opportunity that you do need to take. This may not be an official promotion just yet, but it's certainly a shortcut on the way to bigger bucks when it comes to the work that you are doing. So what is going on with your cards this week? Well, for your spiritual advice, we do have the card of Before the Gathering. And again, this is a card saying, Cancer people, if you've been trying to go it alone, it's time to actually call assistance and aid to yourself. All right, this is the time for you to be tapping into your inner circle and allowing work to be done in the hands and by the means and methods of other people. Before the gathering does indicate that, you know, the help that's coming to you is coming from a very diverse population. You know, it's not all going our way because it's not meant to be handled. It's not a problem that can be solved our way. However, it can be solved in our favor, helpfully, qu hopefully quickly, but also um, in a way that's actually, you know, much more better for the long term if we do actually go about it by letting other people do things their way. They may have resources, information, other people that are going to be more effective than if it's you know, if we've been operating with a my way or the highway attitude, even if only slightly. However, the Before the Gathering card is saying that support and maybe even reinforcements are coming your way, so what you need to do is, if, you're, if you've been doing a going it alone attitude, or again, you have a very specific order of operations you've been trying to abide by, ditch that. For your Earth sector, when it comes to work and finances, we do have the Queen of Swords upright. And the Queen of Swords, I like as far as Upright is concerned, because we have somebody who is an expert um, basically coming up and standing up for you. This is somebody who finds some kind of rule, some kind of regulation that actually works in your favor. And when we see the Queen of Swords, this is somebody who is, this is definitely somebody who wins by technicality. It's, you know, it's kind of like the solicitor or the attorney of the court cards of the tarot deck. She is somebody who operates on fairness and no BS. This is not somebody who's even doing anything to be a favorite of yours. It's something that she uncovers for you. 
and then it does, you know, work in a, in a way that we can exploit to our own growth, our own betterment, and to our own advantage. And again, it's backup, most likely coming from an air sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra, or somebody with those qualities. She may be somebody who decides to actually hire you because of this, or somebody who does, again, decide that it's only fair that you get this opportunity first, or that you have the option to know about it first before anyone else. For your communications with air when it comes to your friends, your relatives, the others in your life, we've got the Page of Cups upright. A token of love and affection or even just appreciation is coming your way and this could be because a friend or a relative is deciding to make a point of introducing you to somebody or maybe even a friend is finally coming out and telling you about somebody's interest in you or somebody who may be interested in you. They may have the right person in mind or whether this is for love or for, you know, for any other aspect of your life. The Page of Cups can come in the form of some kind of gift, tangible or intangible, being handed your way. If anyone's been trying to set you up, or maybe you've been trying to get to, you know, get a friend or a relative to send a special message, you will find out that it has been delivered successfully. For your challenge this week with fire, we do have the Ten of Cups reversed. I guess you could paraphrase this card as saying all that glitters is not gold, and this is not a week to be paying too much attention to appearances. The Ten of Cups reverse can talk about appearances being extremely deceiving because sometimes the things that are so cleverly manicured and so uh, meticulous about uh, maintaining a good appearance and maintaining the illusion of perfection are actually hiding some of the most damaging dysfunctions and problems. And you may be finding this out with people, with opportunities, or with situations where it seems like a person's trying way too hard to put on that good impression. The thing about the Ten of Cups Traverse is, that's always temporary, you know. It's kind of like going on, you know, meeting people, whether they're friends or work collaborators or, collaborators or potential lovers. We've all had those experiences where somebody knows how to act perfect for like a month, and then it hits the fan. We can't avoid that entirely by just taking everything that comes, even things that seem extremely nice and extremely, again, well put together on the surface with a grain of salt. The Ten of Cups Reverse can also indicate a need to pay attention to where somebody is trying to pull your attention away from an obvious problem by pretending it doesn't exist, and that can also lead to further problems. For your emotions with water and your romantic life, we've got the Three of Wands reversed. This card is basically saying, hey, Cancer, people, you know, when opportunity knocks, answer the door. You know, because this week, again, a bridge is going to be made between you and a person that you may be tempted to just sort of put off. Okay, again, whether somebody's setting you up, somebody gives you their number, the Three of Wands reversed is actually a warning to you. This could actually be a good thing. It's not a time for you to just simply be like, oh, I'll get to it later. I'll get to it later. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Remember the Before the Gathering card, let those others bridge the right gap, because they may be used working with resources or with people that you just don't have. And the Three of Wands reverse is saying, when your ship comes in, be at the shore. When it comes to those of you who are currently coupled, the Three of Cups, Three of Wands, excuse me, reverse can indicate a bit of a different meaning. It does indicate there's something not connecting in terms of the communications between you and a partner. And sometimes this can show up for purely technical, innocent reasons. Phone dying, uh, messages not getting delivered, bad service. But if we take those personally, we could have a fight we don't have to have. So make sure to, again, take that with a grain of salt as well. So that is your horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And of course, if you ever want to get a session, you can always follow the links below or go to integrativemysticism.com.